Please welcome to this very special Adelaide Cabaret Festival pod session, Michael Griffiths. <laughs> open your heart for those who aren't converted. Um, my philosophy with this show, let me just have a sip of water. My philosophy is that no one really talks about Madonna as a songwriter. She wrote that, she wrote Vogue, she wrote Express Yourself, she wrote Like a Prayer. A lot of her, particularly from sort of mid to late career, all of the best songs she wrote, and we don't acknowledge that, we're always busy talking about her tits or her wigs or her, you know, scandals or the sex books she put out or no one talks about that she wrote these incredible songs and they're all from her heart and I mean there are songs that weren't singles that unless you're a fan and you have every album, which I do, <laughs> um, you know, she talks about losing her mum when she was five and she talks about how difficult it's been with her father and her father getting a new um, a second wife to be a mother. For, I mean there were I think there were six children. You think I should know that with all my research. I know there was a large family and she's in the middle child. So she's just craving this attention and she didn't get from her mum. And that's kind of converted itself into this extraordinary career with these magical songs. And we don't talk about that. So that's what I wanted to talk about. But it's kind of, no one wants to come and see a show where someone's being very reverent and earnest and saying, isn't Madonna great and listen to this. So I thought as a deceit, or as a conceit, as a conceit, you know what I mean? The device is that I'm Madonna and I talk about my life and my husband's and my failed marriages and my movie career which was the highs and lows which was mostly lows with the film career, um, the scandals, the sex book, um, the hits and the occasional misses. I mean American Life was a bit of a miss so we don't really do any songs from that. Um, <laughs> I actually, what I think it's terribly clever and this is my writer Dean Bryan. I mean, I'd, I, um, I'm just the singer and the actor. My, I have a writer and director, Dean Bryant, who's done the Britney Spears cabaret show and the Hugh Sheridan cabaret show and all these fantastic cabaret shows in the last few years. So I'm very lucky to have him. And um, we have with me on the piano for the show, 
which is my prop somewhere in my bag over there, a little red moleskin, which we've decided Madonna always has on her, which when she's inspired or upset or whatever, or a shopping list, whatever it is, she just writes things down because she's a lyricist. So whenever we are stuck or whenever we just want to be economic about explaining something, we read out a song lyric. And it's normally from songs that we don't sing because there are so many songs. There are 35 song references in my show, which is an hour. Say 12 of those are done, you know, um, reverently. Others just come up in conversation or we just have a little medley because there's just so much material. Um, I'm just going on and on. I don't shut up when I start talking. Well, let's do another song. And she, um, look, I always hesitate to do a song she didn't write when I'm promoting a show. So she didn't write Material Girl, she didn't write Like a Virgin, she didn't write Crazy Fuse. There were some early big ones that she didn't write and I guess maybe because of that people just don't think of her as a songwriter because those early hits she didn't write. Mind you, she was writing at the time, she just, what she wanted was the best pop songs on her albums and so if she didn't feel like hers were the best, she'd handpicked them and she did she like um, like a virgin she couldn't get out of her head mm. she and Noel Rogers her producer basically listened to lots of songs and they listened to it and Madonna was like well that's that's a bit bubblegummy like a virgin blah blah you know she thought it was a bit simple and then they were still listening to other songs about three or four days later she or Niall couldn't stop getting they couldn't get out of their head she's like we have to record this song if I'm still singing this in my head four days later this is going to be on my album so it was her call no, I'm still talking and I'm going to sing. So this song, she didn't, she didn't write, but she heard it. Oh no, that's Papa Don't Freak. No, she wrote this one. Oh, bingo. She wrote this one too, so I don't have to apologize. It was Papa Don't Freak, she actually tweaked a bit and I was gonna sing that, but no, I'm gonna sing True Blue. And this is from Madonna's Heart. I've had other guys. I've looked into their eyes But I never knew love before Till you walk through my door I've had other lips I've sailed a thousand ships But no matter where I go You're the one for me, baby, this I know Cause it's true you're the one I'm dreaming of Your heart fits me like a glove And I'm gonna be true blue, baby, I love you I've heard all the lines I've cried so many times those teardrops won't fall again I'm so excited cause you're my best friend So if you should ever doubt Wonder what love is all about Just think back and remember dear Those words whispered in your ear I said true love You're the one I'm dreaming your heart fits me like a glove And I'm gonna be true blue, baby, I love you No, no more sadness, I kiss it goodbye The sun is bursting right out of the sky I search the whole world for someone like you. Thank you. And I'm Michael Gibson, you've been watching an Adelaide Festival Centre pod session. Yeah. <laughs>